Hi guys, this is Christoph from Click, and this time it's again a technical video. I've been busy the last weeks with preparing our corporate social responsibility event for We See Hope in Africa, and now I'm back with a video on how to make a chart show zeros if there is no value. So here I'm in my Click Sense application and I'm creating a new app. And I will add this large QVD file, which has 9 million rows. So navigating to my C drive, C data, pull that QVD file, which has some attribute values and dates. And I will close the insights generator for the time being, edit the worksheet. So here are attribute values. Here is my value field and I want to see that on a timeline and I'll take the date of that timestamp, make it big, turn off the chart suggestions, uh, turn off the mini chart at the bottom and I'll show the data points here. And there's something you will notice, there are values missing for the 24th of October but I don't see that as a gap or as a zero, even if I put this here to show as gap. So it, is, it appears like this feature is not functional. So I have to fill the date values in the dimension where I want to see the zeros here in this chart. Click will not guess those values for me. So let's create another section at the end of the script. So it's going to be an include of my web page of my uh, GitHub. Here is the URL, you can find it below in the comments and um, um, connect as a new data source, as a new data connection. And I pretend here in the dialog that I want to load it um, just to get this insert script line, but I'm going to include this because it's source code using must include. And then I'm going to call the function fill date values and this requires four arguments. The first one is the field holding the date value, which is uh, the time field. And the second is the, the table name, which is sensor data gaps here. And the third one is the date format. I want it like this. And the last one is the granularity. So how many values do I want per day? And let's now do a reload and hold a second before it finishes. It examines the dates for the first and the last value and it fills in between for every day a zero value. So 17 one values have been added to the data holding the value zero. Now we see also those points here. Those are the zero values. But wait a minute. Uh, those are fill values. I didn't have that in my data. So why is it showing now? This is because some shows a zero if there is no value, so which is a little bit irritating. So if you want this behavior to disappear, you can do if count sum. And now you can see that this function show as gaps really creates gaps because there is a value in between, just there is no data for it. So now let's temporarily add another line and get the zero values visible. For this, I just reuse a variable that the script has built for me, which is called v fill zeros. Put that in dollar bracket syntax. And now you see the fill values. So it's creating a line on zero, which has a value for each day between the start and the end. And now we can see that there is data at the bottom for each day and the above value is missing for some time span. Again, this is now um, working. I can show this as gaps if I like to. And now I just need to put a sum of the two and to merge the two lines into one. So I put here range sum, again, put this V fill zeros and close brackets at the end. Now it's in one line. I can remove the second one 
and I see now as we originally wanted zero values if there has been no value delivered in the original data. And now if I go to different attributes which have different gaps in their time series, um, I can see always zero values even if there's no value. It's showing like this. Right. Um, for those who want to see how this is done, there is a, a set for this, a set modifier, and there is um, the variable that we use that you can inspect, and you can also check out my GitHub for more. So guys, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. If you like those series, here's a way to subscribe and get informed when there is another video.